Russ, we all know that Herco this year, well, if people watch our videos, have had another record year in 2017. You recently placed an order for two machines which we've got here. Just tell us about why, why you ordered these two Hercos, Russ. Um, Herco, I've been involved with historically right back to the knee mills for probably 20 odd years now. Um, so I'd had the two uh, new version Herco machines, which is a TM6 and a VM10. And uh, I'd had them for three years, served me really well. And I got a good offer and a good deal. So I upgraded to the VM20 and the TM8, which is a new one. So what, what we did is we, you part exchanged it. You part exchanged those two machines for these two, two new ones. Yeah, I got drawn in with the sales patter from Erco with Steve. And uh, to be fair, it was a no-brainer for me to actually do it. The, the and was that a pretty clean transaction? Because sometimes doing part exchanges can get convoluted and complicated if you're using other people but was this all done directly through Herco? Yeah all done directly through Herco. The finance package deal came through, what I tagged it on really well, everything. Real good smooth transition, nothing too much trouble. So the two machines that you had compared to what you've got now because you've, you've kind of upgraded on both haven't you? Let's start with the mill. You had a VM10 which is a small machine you've gone for now. The VM20 um, with it's still, it's still got the uh, rotary fourth axis added on it uh, that's all been done uh, at the works at Erco prior to installation, so that's been smoothly done. Whereas previously the VM10, we had a uh, rotary fitted here, but they said no, we'll do it all. It comes straight in fully fitted. Did you want the bigger machine as well? Was that the reason behind the 20? Give you a bit more envelope? Yeah, you've got a meter travelling X. A lot of the time we struggle with the X axis. The other Y and Z wasn't really too much of an issue because we don't lift big stuff. But the X axis was the main reason, having over a meter travel. And these two guys here, one from Herco and obviously one is your employee, yeah. the machines have just literally landed the other day. So yeah. you're here having your training. Do you need training now you've got these machines or you've had them in the past? Or is it just a, a nicety to get the guys here for a day to give you an overview of maybe the it new is really, yeah. Um, th they've added a few new features to the software. Uh, they've changed a few things where it's more about showing the integration of the new software and how they've like tidied up various ways of programming. So it's, it is essential to have a day, really. So don't just leave it and walk, because I have in the past, when I've had new machines from Erco, said, we're okay, our guys know what they're doing. But you, miss, you do miss out on key functions that they've added. It's tool setting, they've changed that, the ways of how to set your tools, and you, there's a more efficient way then for you. So there's that side of things that you can miss out, and even if you're a bit bravado and say, no, I don't need it, it's, it is and, and what about the turning side? Because this is an interesting story as well. You had the TM6, which is the smaller yeah. or the smallest Herco lathe. You've now gone for the TM8, but it's not just not just the TM8, is it? It's the new model, correct? Yes, it is. We was very fortunate with that. We we ordered the machines quite early on in the year. Logistics of having to change machines out with workload pressures and one or two other issues. Um, we placed the order and said we can't do anything until late on in the year. So that, that was a really good situation for us to be able to cut the deal, tidy things up, get everything integrated with a new bar feed attachment from Herco being in um, conjunction with Hydra feed. That was good. Um, so everything worked well there. And the TM8 lift, um, they've now brought in the new XP machine, which is a smaller footprint and a bigger spindle ball. We've jumped from, I think it's 52 mil, which was originally what we was going to have, to 64 mil. So that's an even bigger benefit to us we've not got a lot of space we've got a smaller footprint and do you have a bigger turning length as well on it there, I, I believe there's a small amount ed, added to the z axis as well yes and the machine the tma is is the straight turning machine isn't it you don't have any milling functionality no, on that's that correct and, and is there any any reason for that are you very much a believer that you've got milling here and turning here is that how you operate yeah in the past i've had the mill turn machines uh, for certain specific reasons uh, but in this case being small we can run two machines, and we're, when you're running two machines, it's 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 a, it can be more effective for you in pushing production through. It, you still can get specific jobs that are advantageous to mill turns, but for me, I can be running a, a first stop on there, sending them over to there. If it wants four axis, I can be running that. Likewise, my guy can be doing the same, and then I can be on another machine. We're only a small setup, so our efficiency is a lot better with two machines and I assume your efficiency can be improved with a better control because you can you can program things faster get parts from floor to floor much quicker yeah yeah I mean uh, I, I see two machines I mean you've got 
spindle there, spindle there, you've only got one spindle on a mill turn, you still, it's a slower process on the milling, but it's horses for courses on jobs. But yeah, it's, it works well for us. You said you're a small company, but you're a successful business, Russ. Uh, you've got the two machines here on the milling and turn, and I know you've got some grinding as well. How on earth did you get these in here? Ah, now that was good. Or did Herco get them in here? Uh, yeah, yeah. We've not got a large uh, aperture shutter door. door. And um, what Herco um, have done is they've got involved with a new transport company as well because they're busy transporting a lot of machines. And the guys were very, very helpful in terms of uh, courteousness and not wanting to scratch the machines or what, not wanting to do anything untowards. And they came in and assessed the situation, looked at it measured the apertures and looked at the machines before they started even taking them off the lorry. So that was really good. And, um, and there was no, and you got them straight in and then you're up and running literally within what, a couple of days? Yeah, yeah, my new Bentleys were straight in and running. That's, <laughs> that's it really. So we're, we're at the end of 2017, 2018 is gonna get off to a big start for you, isn't it, with these oh, two yeah. machines? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we, we um, one we've got guaranteed accuracies, which we know are good from the Hercos. We've got full support now for a 12 months warranty if I want to extend it, I can. And I've got a now, and also got the new bar feeder, which has added advantages to varieties of work. And we're a jobbing shop, so we can do things very quickly, transitions of stuff very quickly. So we've got all the package really of reliability, support, and you know, up-to-date technology with the controls.